Anyway, folks, welcome back to my chat. Three parcels today, so uh, let's get it cracking on and uh, see what we got after this. Right, folks, we got a couple of parcels today, so I'm going to be doing the next few videos. A couple of parcels here, a couple of parcels there, just to stretch my videos out because if I do it all in, I can all. I can probably do all my videos, which I've got the parcels on, because I've seen now, in about four videos, but I'll stretch it out, so it's like a few more videos here and there, so we, like, we get more viewing time. So right, what we got today, we have got, today is a package from Carlos Rue from France. So Carlos Rue from France, Attention France, right, okay. Right, so we've got, let's get the old help of uh, Scissor Rue. Yeah, I can see, if I turn the camera around and show you all the parcels, you'd be like, oh. so I can make quite a few videos out of it, so that's what I'm doing. So we take that out. So we don't need that, do we? No, we don't. So we have today is, well, oh, ah, so, as you saw in the previous video, I went to the toy fair and looking for a hook. Look what came in the post, a trap jaw hook. So now, the one what I want to sell is completed as well. So that's pretty cool. So I've got a hook for the one what I got from the toy fair, because I bought that from the toy fair to get a hook, and I'll complete that. So now I've got two complete trap jaws, but the only difference is it has got that bit on the top of his head for the string to go through, which a few people don't really know. So yeah, I've got a hook for trap jaws, pretty cool. So I put that there, and we don't need that, do we? No, we don't. Anyway, folks, let's get to this one. So this has come from, da 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 da, -da. it's coming from, no it isn't, da 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 da, blooming phones. Anyway, it's coming from Germany. So Germany, it's coming from. Let's uh, open that with the old help of Johnny Blade. Instructions there, Mick. Daniel Herter from Germany. Deutschland, Germany. Yeah. And we don't need that, do we? No, we don't. So we do, we have. Load of old packaging, which is good to tip to keep to parcel your parcels later on. So that is a bit of a bonus. And we have, oh hello, let's get rid of that. We have the vintage Rise of, the, Rise of Skywalker, the Knights of Ren. The Knights of Ren. You're thinking, Mike, ain't you supposed to be doing vintage? Yes, I collect vintage, and uh, like you will see later on in videos, I did collect the other Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi, and I want you to collect the movie stuff, which is up to the Rise of Skywalker. Because what's the worth of collecting vintage figures, like in the previous video of the cabinet, where you've got like Star Wars, Empire, Return of the Jedi, and then it goes into The Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and then The Knights of Ren. Um, uh, Rise of Skywalker. So I want you to collect all three or all six films of the... Uh, movie so that's what i'm doing so the only thing i needed was the last film figures to complete it as the whole the, in my mind the whole collection for the movie series so that's why i got rise of skywalker knights of ren so this be in the card i'm not collecting any other episodes or any other films and stuff because i collect all the vintage stuff which is movie related and i've done power of the, um, the force awakens the last jedi and i just needed these ones for uh the movie then stop no more retro stuff yeah not too bad but movie stuff i really want to get so it's like all for the uh the eight films so uh yeah rise of uh skywalker knights of ring card it absolutely wicked i don't know why they turn it into uh the vintage collection they really should have stuck with 
like the like the collection, a bit like the retro and that, but that's as close as we're going to get. But um, yeah, if it wasn't for this, then we will have eight films and the last film without no figure. So I'm grateful that they brought out Knights of Ren, uh, Zora Bliss, Ray, uh, Jet Stormtrooper, Poe Dameron, and that is really it. Only, only a handful of figures for the last film they've done and that was it so thank you Hasbro for bringing it out it did come out ages ago I didn't know about it but I've only just got it just because uh, it was going on the cheap so yeah Knights of Ren so that's the Knights of Ren and today we have got a and this is coming from Pitney Bowles department so yeah it's Pitney Bowles department so you know the whole help of Johnny Blake Oh hello, he's got a gun, he's an ace gun, and it's a Star Wars gun, it's one of the Star Wars vintage stuff that I really wanted, so uh, yeah, this is a 1970, it's 1977, it's Luke Skywalker's Pulse Rifle, that's absolutely wicked, so this is one of the the old electronic guns from the 70s. I think it's missing an attachment up there. But yeah, you can look through the old gun there. I wonder if done if you can see. Don't know if you can see on that, but yeah, that is Luke Skywalker's pulse rifle. Vintage, absolute wicked. There's a date on this. I'm sure there's a date on this somewhere. And it does have batteries, so if you take the top off there and you untouch that, you can put your batteries in, see if it works. I think it works, I'm not too sure, but I did get it on the cheap and it, it's definitely vintage. It has got a marking somewhere. But yeah, if I had the batteries, I can test it out and show you, but I haven't got the batteries yet. But this was going for dirt cheap and it's on my list for collecting for vintage old Star Wars toys, but yeah, we have got a Luke Skywalker rifle, absolute blinding. So, yeah, that's uh, another. It's just missing like a, a top in there, and I think there's a bit on the top here and the side there, but that's an electronic gun, so yeah, it's pretty cool. If I have batteries, let's see if I've got any batteries and we can test it out. If not, then uh, it does. Oh, hello, here's the markings. It says General Mills Fun Group Inc. Made in Hong Kong. Let's get the old uh, liar out. General Mills Fun Group Inc. In Corp. 1978. Made in Hong Kong. So 1978. And it's got the uh, Star Wars thing there. The old logo. Which is pretty good. So that is Luke Skywalker's Pulse Rifle. So it's like that. Target like that, bang. So yeah, let's go and see if he's got any batteries. And see no, unfortunately, it does not. I can't really get it to work because I haven't got really got the batteries. But anyway, today on Mike's chat, you've seen the Luke Skywalker 1978 General Mills laser rifle. Absolute wicked. I do want to get some batteries to see if this works. So that is a wicked one for the older collection on the old list. Knights of Ren, Rise of Skywalker, a uh, carded figure, which I knew about ages ago, but I wanted it from the collection. And we had the Trap Jaw, coincidence from last week, Trap Jaw hook. So it completes our one we got from the Toy Fair. Anyway, you've been watching Mike's Chat. Thank you for watching. Other subscribers, thank you for joining. New subscribers, thanks for joining Mike's Chat. All videos are going to the Facebook group, Mike's Chat. Like, subscribe, comment below, I'll get back to you. Click that notification bell for the next videos. Ching. And you've been watching my channel 4K. Eyebrow. Thank you very much.